we're going to begin our tour of the big five, starting with the liver, then moving on to the spleen, kidneys, and urinary bladder. We've got the patient positioned in dorsal recumbency. The abdomen's been shaved. Um, you can see where we've shaved at least three intercostal spaces to give us access to the liver if we needed to from an intercostal approach. I've chosen to start with an 8C probe, which is a microconvex probe. This will allow us to manipulate underneath the ribs. I'll typically start these by palpating the xiphoid, and that's going to be considered midline. And we'll start in the, with the probe in a long axis plane or sagittal plane with a reference marker towards the head. And I will angle that probe underneath the ribs, remembering that the liver is setting under that rib cage. If my probe is perpendicular to the patient, I'm going to encounter stomach and not be able to see the liver. So if I angle cranially like that, which is dropping the tail of the probe down, then it'll allow me to angle underneath the ribs. As we start at the midline, and I sweep just towards the right, this would be the dog's right, we'll see that the gallbladder comes into the field of view. This is our gallbladder here, has a nice thin wall, it's less than two millimeters. We can see where we have sludge in the lumen of that gallbladder. We'll continue following that liver. This is the outline of where the lung and diaphragm come together. This down here is what we call a mirror image artifact. We'll continue to scan along the right thoracic wall. And my stopping point on the right side is typically when I get down to the area where I can pick up the kidney and the liver and we see where that kidney is in that renal fossa. And we'll come back and talk about that when we get to kidneys. At this point, we're gonna continue in a sagittal plane and we're gonna go back up towards midline, again, picking up the gallbladder. And then we will sweep over towards the left side. Now my probe is along the left thoracic wall and I'm slightly tilting the probe so that I'm angling underneath the ribs to evaluate the left lateral liver lobes. Again, I'll continue to do that until I either run out of liver, which is what we're doing here, or I encounter stomach and spleen. As we come back towards midline again, now I'm gonna take the probe and rotate into a transverse plane. I will put the reference marker towards the left we always position things on the ultrasound so that left is on the right side of the screen and right is on the left side of the screen. So we can see where we have gallbladder. This is a transverse view. And what I do from this position is fan the probe so that I'm taking the head of the probe towards the spine and gradually lifting the tail of the probe to sweep through the liver in a transverse plane. This puts me into the area of the porta hepatis where we can see the hepatic vein and portal vein. And then we'll sweep back up towards the ventral surface of that liver in a fanning position. At this point, I will rotate the probe back to a sagittal plane and we're right back to midline looking at the liver. Again, as we look at that liver and we're scanning through it, we're evaluating the liver parenchyma and echo texture. Notice that we have a fine or medium echo pattern through here. We can see the portal vasculature that have the hyperechoic walls, as well as the portal veins that have a very thin wall to them. That partially lets us know that we have a normal echo pattern. The other thing to pay attention to as we scan this liver is the overall shape of the liver. It has relatively angular or pointed borders to it and is not excessively round.